Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more Watch with Mighty, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stone Ocean, episode 21, Awaken. Man, okay, so I'm ready now to set full sail to the end of my JoJo adventure, uh, at least for the time being, until they come out with another anime. Um, if anyone missed my community post, I have said that starting today, on Thursday, I will be having... A JoJo episode reaction go up every day. Uh, that's most likely going to happen, but if a, if a day or so that doesn't have an episode, something happened or I wasn't able to. Because I'm not going to record all 11 right now. I'm probably going to record like two episodes every session, upload them that day and the next day, and then record two more, you know, something like that. Um, but ideally, it's going to be a relatively nonstop ride to the end. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I truly, like, despite the fact that, you know, I took a large break in the middle of this, um, it's to no reason of this part being uninteresting. It was more for, like, it's mental health. I needed to relax, and I needed to step away from YouTube for a little bit. I already talked about that. But um, it's to no fault of this part. This part's been very good. Um, I had issues with Golden Wind. That made me, like, kind of irritated. This part, I don't have really any issues with. It's really solid so far. It's not my favorite JoJo part, but it's definitely not my least favorite. It's somewhere, like, comfortably in the middle. Uh, I really do love Jolene and um, everyone we've met in this part. It's actually been really, really fun. So, I'm excited to see how it all ends. Uh, people have been saying that the ending of this part's really, really good. So, hey. You know me, I'm all down for it. Uh, hitting record on the Patreon version, link in the description if you want it. All the JoJo episodes are now on Patreon. Um, I'm fully caught up with the uploads. And these will follow along suit. When I upload one of these, within an hour or two afterward will be the Patreon version. That is the goal, and let's strive to do our best. Um, now let's dive on in in three, two, one, go. ba -doom. I am curious if the last, I don't know when the last, or the the second batch of episodes ends, if I'm close, I must be close to it. It's Fool Fighters! Bop bop! She didn't aim for him? Oh, okay, I about to say. Pale Snake and Nearby. We've been getting a lot of uh, Fufu focus in this part. Not gonna lie, she's kind of become she's kind of stolen the spotlight from Jolene in a lot of aspects. Not that not that I have a problem with that. Fufu is great, but um, what is everyone's favorite uh, character in this part? I have a feeling like we still haven't met totally everyone yet, but for the most part, I assume we've met most of the main people. I still think Ermes is great. Um, I say Ermes. Uh, does, anyone, does anyone pronounce it the other way? Hermes. Um, but uh, she's great. Her stand's interesting. Not all that crazy powerful. But it does a lot of unique things. So that's cool. And again, I like Jolene a lot. Hmm. And it's weird that Jotaro is in this. Yeah, he's just sort of comatose <laughs> through the majority of this surely she has to like reawaken him by the end right that's what it's all building toward and then they'll both kick ass together <laughs> I'm gonna turn the light on real quick while this is playing yeah. there we go don't stop beating, don't stop beating. <laughs> Said it before, it's kind of a crime that that's literally the only addition that th this and the frogs and that they added. Hmm. JoJo had they, they, thems before anyone else. <laughs> I say that jokingly. I don't mean to offend anyone. It's just, yeah. Hmm. 
<laughs> Just looking at her feet. What? Hmm. Oh no. Are we about to get like a foo foo death here? This feels very much like, um. This reminds me a lot of the death we had in, uh, <clears throat> Golden Wind. <clears throat> Look how happy the little thing is <laughs> with the cinnamon roll eyes. That pose, the poses everyone's doing right now. <laughs> hmm. Why can't she do both? Is my question. Just go bang, bang, back and forth. Oh well, I guess that's that's the answer. Oh shit! Oh, I, I forgot a uh, foo foo, and she'll survive that. Oh no! And now I'm gonna take it away. Yeah. Shit. Whoa. My intellect. Boom! Bam! Blew her own head off. Out. Oh, what the hell? Oh, dripping onto him. Oh. Oh, shit. Is she going to kill him from inside? Yeah. Yep. Hey, credit to them for not censoring that. That was pretty gruesome. In general, I feel like this part's done a better job of not crazily censoring stuff. The worst offender was definitely Stardust Crusaders in that, in that regard. Like... Bye bye, you stupid annoying toddler green thing. I hated him. By the way, someone said he's a fam named after a famous cellist or something. That's pretty cool. Is your eye gonna be okay? The hell? Is he still alive? Whoa. What the hell indeed? It's got the star. Extremely bizarre, but that's just the way things go in this series. Oh. Seriously, though, is Jolene's eye going to be okay? Like. Water. Need water. Whoa, that's a cool look. That's a very cool fusion look. I like that. Pop, pop. Why do I think this design is so cool for Fufu? Like, really sick looking. Ow. Not looking good for Fufu, though. Pop, pop, pop. Damn, she needs some help. Will she get help, though?
<laughs> it just becomes 3D again. Random. Is <laughs> what that mean? <laughs> wow. Again, she said she didn't know. I mean, she hasn't seen it since it's kind of... <clears throat> it's stalling for time. <laughs> oh, her legs! <laughs> Whoa! Clever. I feel like she's not going to get the water she needs. Oh, no, she did. There we go. Oh, hell yeah. With the, with the pose to boot. Is he going to break it? No. Oh shit. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh shit. Why is it hot? Why is it that hot of water? Oh. Shit. Oh my god, no way. Is Fufu about to die? Holy shit, this is awful. What the fuck? Okay, that's... No. What? Well... Huh, I don't know. I, I don't... Fuck. I, I don't want to believe that it just happened because I get a strange feeling she didn't actually die. Despite it showing it like that. I don't know. Is your eye going to be okay? It's still a little droopy. Ew. Someone need to explain to me in the comments exactly like what this baby thing is. And how it's spawned and what its directive is. Maybe I missed something, like, in the finer details, but... Flicked a rock back. What is the thing's powers? Oh shit. Oh, I thought he was just up behind her, but no, she actually got smaller. That's not the first time she's been small in this part so far. Oh, now they're both small. What? So he's got s Oh. Oh, the So the closer you get to him, the smaller you get.
So in theory, he should be getting smaller here. You hear his voice getting smaller too. Is he gonna regain his size now? Okay. <laughs> I like how my, like how his hair just begin to flow, and then the next scene it shows is just back to like not. <laughs> Pretty speculative. I mean, you don't know for sure how his, like, that's the entire properties of the stand, you know. But hey. Yeah, because eventually you get so small you'd never reach it. Will ranged things work on him? I gotta get that baby. Yeah, she's turned small twice in two different segments of this part so far. Back when she was a rat, Jolene. <laughs> he's like, meanwhile, he's just like, God, she's attractive. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's looking like Swiss cheese over here. All holes in him. Whoa. I guess in theory you could have... Oh, oh he just stopped. Oh, and he's right with her. Will that become smaller too? Yeah. <clears throat> well she's shrinking to like the size of an atom like what's gonna happen if you get there anyway what will you do if you're the size of an ant Whoa, what the? That has to be the baby's stance. All like, num, 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 like teething on it. Whoa. Yeah. Ow. Whoa, the design's cool on it. Whoa. Definitely a trippy situation here. <clears throat> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Ow. What the fuck? Whoa. Oh my god. Wild stand. What? What is this stand called? Baby or something? Well, okay, will Diver Dan... Oh, no, she got away. Oh. About to say, will Diver Dan even be affected on it? But... <clears throat> is her leg okay? Did it come back to normal? Yeah, if I want anyone to answer anything, it's like, what form to this baby? And, like, why is it, like, what is its role in the story right now? And, like, why does the, why does the priest want it? <laughs> the, the shoe. 
Is it gonna grow into a big a big rock? Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> they scream oh, 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 even though it didn't even hit him. Uh oh. That is horrifying. Holy shit. The way it crawled. Wow. Crazy ass fight right here. By the way, sorry if the subtitles appear on the top. Not much I can do about that with my setup. Oh. Oh, whoa. You can get out there and seal it, you know. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> that's I'm maybe I don't fully understand Diver Dan's abilities either. Holy shit. It must not be a very physically strong stand if it's able to, oh, if they can't break out of a, a bottle. <clears throat> no shit. Uh, oh, uh, ow. Oh, God. Oh, no, don't break it. I don't even know what to say. Like, it's a fascinating, very interesting situation. Don't break it, he said. You just trapped this horrific stand in a bottle. It's worth keeping it in there. Oh, shit. Oh, but he decides to touch her, so... Will she grow in size again? Yeah, she grew in size. Oh, they both did. What the hell? Oh, the bottle's broken. It got out. Oh, shit. The baby's on her back. Why is it patting at the... Well, they said they, they said they could control it with Jotaro's memories alone. So, is, that, is the baby, like, Jotaro? Like... The next Joe Star is born. It's this green vegetable baby. It's crazy thinking about where this series began with Jonathan to like this. <laughs> I can only sense endless darkness from this baby. <laughs> I must kill this endless darkness, baby. Where's my mouse? Is there any post credits? No, it's not. All right. I'm going to end it there. Uh, just because I'm probably going to record the next one pretty soon after this one. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. That was a, that was a very interesting episode. Um, Again, without spoilers, just kind of fill me in on the baby situation. Is there anything urgent I should know about it? Because it seems... it. This is very baffling to me, the storyline with this baby that grew within the thing that was there before and and why the priest is after it and just... Uh, I don't know. Very strange. Entertaining and very bizarre. So I'm not hating at all, but like very strange. 
Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and leave your thoughts down below. Until next time, this has been Muddy Gazelle. Thank you all. Have a mighty day. See you guys.